Well, folks, I think it's time that we do another serious video. Th this video is something I heard. Of, this is a topic, I should say, that I heard about a couple months ago. I couldn't verify if it was true. But today, or I should say a couple days ago, we got confirmation of this happening. We have confirmation of one of the most disgusting acts a campaign has ever done. All right. So, before we get into it, I'm obviously talking about the Karen Robson campaign. Let's look at this document, all right, from the Carrie Lake campaign. This is a campaign finance documents from the state of Arizona. This is a finance report. This is the Lake campaign, all right? This is Carrie Lake for Arizona. I'm just going to show you something. You see all of these, you know, addresses. You see most of them are from Arizona. Arizona. Some of them, of course, are out of state. You're always going to get voters from out of state. They're going to donate because Blumpf endorsed somebody. But you see the vast majority of them from Arizona, maybe a couple from Utah, some from Texas, etc. But the vast majority are from Arizona. You can go through this entire document. There's hundreds, if not, I think there's a th yeah, a thousand pages or so. And you're going to find most of these are from Arizona. Now, why am I talking about this? Why am I talking about this at all? Well, before I show you the video, you're going to see this document. This is the Karen for Robs for um Karen for Arizona, not Karen for Robson. Karen Robson for Arizona. Shut up. But point is, you look through this document and you see Arizona, Arizona, then New Jersey, then South Carolina, then Oklahoma, then California. You realize, wait. There's basically, compared to the Lake document, there's essentially no donations from voters in Arizona. I'm not saying there's none, but compared to the Lake campaign, there's not many. I mean, sure, you got a couple here and there, but it's like, you realize the vast majority of these from out of state, especially from California, from Texas, even Massachusetts and New York. I mean, there's a lot of these donations not from Arizona. Or anywhere close. I mean, the Lake campaign, yes, you had out-of-state donations, but that's reasonable. It's not expect. It's not a surprise to not. It's a surprise not to see donations from out-of-state. It is a surprise also to see this many donations from out-of-state voters. And I heard about this a couple months ago. But I thought, okay, maybe that's not true. Maybe this is just, you know, a coincidence. Maybe these are a lot of, you know, establishment-type voters, you know, that are deciding to support Lo Robson. Maybe that's the case. Well, the Kerry Lake campaign exposed this entire thing. I know it's the Lake campaign's video, but watch this quick clip to show you what's really going on here. I have an urgent warning for you involving harm that could be done to you if you are a retiree in this country or if you have a loved one who is retired. You may need to warn them about a fundraising ploy that they could very likely have gotten caught up in, especially if they are patriotic and worried about the direction this country is going. It's really upsetting because it involves the Arizona governor's race and my opponent. Take a look at this. This is how big it is. This is over a thousand pages of potential victims of my opponent. Thousands upon thousands of Americans, most of them retirees, most of them living on social security, got tricked into donating money to my opponent in one of those recurring donation schemes that is zapping their bank accounts or ringing up expensive charges to their credit cards. So here's how it works. Her team would send text messages to patriotic elderly Americans across the nation with messages like help Texas build the wall at the border or help President Trump get his truth social media up and running or helping other causes in the Republican Party. Now these kind-hearted retirees would click the link and little did they know they were signing up for a recurring donation, but not to build the wall or help President Trump it was a recurring donation to a woman that they don't even know. And let me tell you, they probably don't want to know her. Our team spoke to some of the victims of this ploy. Now they're the lucky ones who'd figured it out. I want to investigate donations to Karen Taylor Robeson, a candidate for Arizona governor. I have a record that you made a donation to her. Do you recall making this donation? Karen, I'm not familiar with this person that you're even telling me. No, I don't remember anymore. I did not give her a donation. 
I hope you saw the video. It is disgusting. I want to sum, up, sum it up in a couple of sentences. The Karen Robson campaign lied to senior citizens. That's essentially the main demographic they were targeting about for fundraising. Out-of-state citizens, they would send messages to voters in Texas, like the Dallas area, saying, we need to stop Beto O'Rourke. Fun, uh, donate to this campaign. Yeah. Voters in the Dallas area, the Karen Robson campaign would send messages to asking for their donations to stop Beto O'Rourke. For five milliseconds, you realize, okay, that's a flat-out lie. This money was never going to fight Beto O'Rourke. All this money was going towards the Karen Robson campaign. They purposely, they purposely used retired voters for money. Them not knowing better, they think, oh, 25 bucks here. I'll take, here's $25 to stop Beto O'Rourke. I don't like the guy. Maybe this is going to the Greg Abbott campaign. Nope. It went straight to the Robson campaign, and boy, is it disgusting. That's not the worst part. They also essentially set an auto donation setting. Essentially, these people, they don't know where the money's going to, would automatically keep sending donations to the Robson campaign without them knowing. You see the problem. And then you get these losers on Twitter. Of course, there's some clowns on Twitter defending it, saying old campaigns do it. That doesn't make it any better. They don't even, most campaigns don't do that in the first place. Sure, they um have some weird text messages, but they don't say, you know, we're going to fight Beto O'Rourke and send money to freaking Arizona. They don't do that. It's in-state voters, they, you know, say stuff, but it's like, okay, that's not the issue. The problem is these clowns are grifting money out of, for, out, from out-of-state voters in disgusting acts. I'm sick of it. And I think it's time that we have a serious discussion about campaign ethics and finance reform. Look, I know the Supreme Court, you know, made, made a terrible decision on it 10 years ago or so. Citizens United. I don't care. It's time that we have some serious discussions about it. This is enough. I'm getting sick and tired of these voters. Whether it's the Democrats, you know, sending millions of dollars from New York City to Georgia. Or if it's campaigns like Karen Robson purposely lying to retired voters about where the money's going. There needs to be serious campaign finance reform. That's a serious discussion. Whether it's ban out-of-state funding, I support that. Right Outside of, you know, presidential elections, obviously. But, for example, a voter in New York should not be able to send $2,000 to a candidate in Georgia. They shouldn't. That's horseshit. At the same time, campaigns should not be allowed to ask for money for voters out of state. That's a basic thing that I think most people could get behind. Also, get rid of businesses from campaigns. I'm getting why should campaigns, you know, listen to purely the unions or businesses? They should be listening to their voters, not the big business. There's no reason businesses should be allowed to donate millions upon millions of dollars to candidates and essentially control them. We can continue discussing this, but this is a disgusting act. And I've decided to use today to talk about it because I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked the campaign did this, especially to our senior citizens, lying to them, knowing that they don't have the most money in the world purposely using them when she's married to a multi 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 millionaire right she's you know 50 years younger than him but it's true she married him for the money yet she doesn't have enough money to finance her campaign instead she has to steal money from senior citizens that's all folks i'm incredibly pissed off in this situation this is why i support carrie lake Look, you can make the argument, maybe she did things 10 years ago that was bad. whoop the frickin do Karen Robson did this crap months ago. What's worse? See you guys in the next video. As you can tell, I am not happy with this. I am incredibly pissed off and shocked. And there's people defending this crap. Saying it's normal. 
Get the hell out of here. I'm sick and tired of it.